And it's Thursday night and here we are again. Livecasters, I've wanted to make this for a while and I just had to get myself a bottle of it. We're making a caipirinha. We start with cachaça, the number one distilled spirit in Brazil, made from sugar cane. It's sort of rum-like, but with a very different flavor. So I'm gonna cut up a bunch of lime and throw this at the bottom of my glass. Just plain old lime. Plain old lime, look, quite a lot of it too. Drop my towel. We give it some sugar, like, I don't know, like a good teaspoon or so, maybe a teaspoon and a half, and then we muddle it. And you're not trying to squish the bitterness out of the, out of the outside of the lime, you're just trying to break up all the pulp and get the juice out. That's what you really want. Once you've done that, you take your muddler, <coughs> huck it in the sink. Huck, by the way, is a Canadian term for throw. <laughs> Pour some cachaça in, about this much. It's 40 proof, like regular, everyday big boy spirits in this country and other countries. Mix well, add some ice, and I like drinks with a lot of ice. Makes it cold, makes it delicious, keeps it nice for a long time. And then all you have to do is sip and hang out. And we're back, or we're here. It's Thursday night. I love Thursday night. So, um, yeah. you said yeah. Sorry, I hit the music a little a little late. This drink has gotten to me. <laughs> All right. So we should we should probably talk about that because like without Sean, mm. things here are kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Not weird for me and Steve. Steve, your your part okay? <laughs> All good. Steve's good. I'm good. Kelly, you good? It's I'm musical really good. chairs back here. Hey, don't, I don't know, know what the problem noticed, is. But there is like a big empty space to yeah. our right. We're missing oh, 33%. I thought you were going to say empty spit, spot in your heart. <laughs> well, well yeah, that too. <laughs> no, but we're 33% men down here. <laughs> yeah, the mute's away. When the mute's away, the boys will play. <laughs> no? Oh, jeez. I got a different monitor tonight, and I've been told not to worry about the colors in it. As soon as I look at it, Steve, all I can think about is it's look how my red <laughs> lips are so red. It's harsh, isn't it? It's very harsh. Yeah, it's ugly colors. It's <laughs> vivid. It's okay. You're worried about your lips. My lips look like I was wearing lipstick. By I, the way, we were watching Lost last <laughs> night. Yeah, I don't, I've Lost. Not, I, don't, I didn't watch it when it first came around. And Max and Zach now are absolutely insane. They're in, second, in season two. So I've gotten into it a little bit. But my first observation was of one of the, the girls, women, they'd been on the island, what, a month and a half? She, made, she still managed to have bright red lips. Like she had lipstick on. They have like. Is that important when you're when you're on an island and things like that? On I don't think she was killing bugs, Lynn, and uh, you know, making them into a paste. <laughs> you don't know what they do on that island. They've been there for a while. Oh, uh, they have. It sort of got a little bit of a hold of me. I'm trying not to get. I don't want another show. You're I, screwed. I do not want another show. You're in. You're in. It's done. Wait. So you you have been watching it? I, I've watched a, 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 about an hour and a half of it in total. I think you're already hooked. Up. And I'm, I'm pulled in a little bit, but I do have a favorite. Who's the girl with the black, the black uh, tank top and the jeans with oh, the big buckle? Ana Lucia. I like Ana Lucia. Yeah. Do we have any uh, Lost fans out there? I I'm know sure it's been we over will. for a while. It was a, a popular show. I'm sure we've got some out yeah, there. Popular show. I hope nothing bad happens to Ana Lucia. Oh, you just wait. <laughs> no, and if you think about it, and if you know... <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch it. If you, <laughs> if you know writers... They're going to keep the pretty people in as long as they can because people like to tune in and watch that. Absolutely. Why do you think we have Kelly sitting over here? I For can. one reason, to keep like, boys like tuning in. Kelly is just blocked by your mic right there. Oh, <laughs> I can't. Did, she, did I position the camera again? In the yeah, spot? you did really All bad. Right, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, really it's bad. Fine, it's fine. No, that's awful. <laughs> so I we can see Kelly. It's like coming right out of her face. No, that face. would be good because that's how I feel today. No, <laughs> Kel, don't be like that. Uh, while we're repositioning, or maybe Steve needs to be able to see this. Can you see it from there, Let's dude? see this. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. That's the kind of people that That's we it. are here at the Sam Livecast. Flight That's all it took. <laughs> right off the bat, 
I'm very excited about one thing. I guess I could be excited about a lot of things. Fixtures. Fixtures Living. We have, new have a we have a brand new sponsor tonight. It is Fixtures Living. And when I tell you that Fixtures Living is unlike any other kitchen bath store, I mean it is unlike any other kitchen bath store. I mean, look at this website. Here's here. their line. Yeah, well, so you know what? I think that's, that's an interesting point, Maxie. Um, it's not always the case, but if you got a kick-ass website, you're paying attention to a lot of details, and they pay ad- attention to details like you just... You can't imagine. So there's all kinds of stores that you can go to. If you had to go look for a new dishwasher or range or refrigerator, or freezer, stuff like that, or barbecue. something for your bathroom, bar, there's a lot of stores that you can go to. There are no stores that do what Fixtures Living does. And I'm not saying that because they're a sponsor. I'm saying that because I believe that from when I first walked into it, which was months ago, and I could not believe what I was seeing. They do things in a way that nobody else does things. They care in ways that I don't think people care. I think people say they care, those other stores. These guys take it to a whole nother level. If you go to their, their home page of the Facebook, oh yeah, and Hold click, on, click on the profile picture, it takes you to a series of about... This is the one you wanted, the one with the shower heads. The one with the shower heads. So let just, so cool. this is the, the smallest example I can give but show such a big change in how these guys do business you're looking at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. so maybe you're looking at 20 shower heads there right yeah yeah which you might be able to go to other stores and see shower heads but you generally see them against the flat wall whatever this is I think half of the shower heads that they have there what you can't see where it says kitchen bath outdoor there's a low wall there and there's handles you can turn on the water to every one of those shower heads <laughs> so cool. and really? see the water come out. And I looked at that the first time and I thought, why has nobody done that? Because you're not just buying something that looks good. You want it to be functionally useful. And the way water comes out of a shower head is the functionally useful part that you have to have. It's awesome. Right. That is cool. It's a great experience. It's a great experience. That's a really good point. Yeah. It's a great experience. So anyway, they do something called Fixtures Fridays. And on Fridays here in San Diego, uh, they do a food thing. And they, they have an executive chef that sometimes cooks. They have guest chefs that, uh, that uh, come in and cook. Uh, they did a hot dog thing a few weeks ago. I was, a, I was a participant. I lost by one vote because mom didn't vote for me. <laughs> I know. I can't believe she would do that. And too. I didn't vote for myself. And the other people that were in charge of their hot dogs, they all freaking voted for themselves. In fact, the Chicago guy who won came up to me and he said, I just want you to know your hot dog was by far and away the best one here. I go, thank you. He goes, I didn't vote for you. (laughs) (laughs) How can that be? (laughs) I was trying to be neutral, like, like, Switzerland during the Second World War. Hey, which, who actually turned out to not be so neutral <laughs> after all, but which, that's another conversation. What'd you make? You made the double part. Double no, part. I, made, I made what I call the Vancouver dog. They were all like city-themed dogs. Mm. And I did the Vancouver one that has a bun. And a lot of gravy. Lightly toasted. No gravy. <laughs> idiot. A bun lightly <laughs> toasted. Grilled, uh, grilled yellow onions, so they're sweetened really beautifully. A beef hot dog teriyaki sauce, Japanese mayo, QP, we know I love it, yeah. and uh, shredded nori, seaweed. I think it sounds only okay. <laughs> the combination together, un-effing believable. It's unbelievable. You got me hungry now. And I got <laughs> screwed by one vote. Thank you, Mrs. Cooking Guy. <laughs> oh, and Allison. I took a friend with me, and she never even voted. Oh, <laughs> no. Anyway, so, so Fixtures Friday, and you, it's, not, it's not like uh, reservations or you pay. They want you to see how equipment works. They cook on the equipment. You get to go there. You get to see how stuff works. You get to eat the food. You get to hang out. You get to look at their stuff. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Anyway, I do my classes there. When you go, if you go to the website under classes, if you go to a Sam the Cooking Guy class, that's where I do them. Maxie, can you go to those pictures? Oh, we've got some pictures of your birthday class. Yes. I mean, the almost birthday class. I call it my almost birthday class, and I made all the food that I wanted. So they've got this amazing outside deck. And so here's people coming and setting up and sitting. Look, 
only nice looking people at my classes. I'm very, you can only no. register for my class by sending a picture in. <laughs> only want nice looking, I'm only kidding. He's only lying. want nice looking people. There's the shirt that I wore on a lot last, of last night. Okay, that's, really that like. seriously is a gorgeous outdoor area. That's amazing. Isn't it nice? And now we do the classes at night. There's heaters, there's little twinkly lights above. It's really pretty. There's burners, there's grills, there's everything. What am I making there? Oh, Wait, I, you know what I was making? I was making that. Uh, looks like onions. That chipotle um, uh, bean. That chipotle uh, bean thing that I make. Oh, red onion. So sorry. Uh, green pepper, chipotle, bacon, onion. So good. So simple. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Good. Look at those pizzas. Those oh. roasted vegetable pizzas on the grill. Grilled pizza. Come on. I it's want crazy. That so bad. Right. So anyway, they do that kind of stuff. You have to go. I'm going there tomorrow. I'm going to go. Hannes uh, Cavan, uh, local San Diego chef, is doing four different types, three or four different types of uh, BLTs tomorrow. And the change in them all is going to be the bacon. He's all about the pork. He's got, I wish I had the picture with me. He's got a, um, a sectional diagram of a pig tattooed on his arm that is a real that's a belly the front the the thing the, you know like like a butcher diagram of a pig it's a quick reference guide quick reference guide in case he forgets where the snout is he can look at his wrist that's cool and do that he'll be there making those tomorrow and then the last thing about fixtures and then i have to go on to the rest of the show uh they're opening up a new one in costa mesa in the uh, what's it called the south coast collection the 405 and mm -hmm. something I don't it's know. It's supposed to be off the hook. It's going to be off the hook. 20,000 square feet of off the hook. Last yeah. fixtures picture. I like this one. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. That <laughs> is, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight toilets that I see. I think they have 40 toilets in a lineup. What? 40. That is so cool. Did and I'm going to tell you something. It seems silly, but you got to sit on a toilet before you buy it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like test driving a car? Oh, yeah. It is. It's more important, dude. <laughs> it is. Some of your most important you time spend is spent there. a lot of there. time on the toilet, yeah. <laughs> you do. Especially Steve. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes in here. Oops. <laughs> you know what? This joint is like Pavlov's toilet for Steve. He walks in the front door and he goes right to the bathroom. There's something about my front door causing Steve to go to the bathroom, and I don't really know what it is. Last thing about fixtures. I'll be there in Costa Mesa. September 10th, uh, two Saturdays from now, uh, doing a book signing. Come say hi. Come have something signed. Okay. Hold I on. have, by the way, I have not yet signed a breast, a, a female breast, you and have I just. Those. You've always so you wanted just to keep, do that. Right, no, I did. Keep pulling that card. That you're I, that's exactly that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Because you have. I signed a breast. You did in New Zealand. At the girl, no, what? I signed a breast in New Zealand. New Ze the woman number. didn't know who I was. Oh, uh, that doesn't count. So it's what? Still really? A we had we had cameras with us. She didn't know who you were, and That's she still let you sign her boobs. <laughs> I do remember that. Steve was there. Yeah, okay, so you walk around at a camera. festival with the camera and a bunch of people and stuff, and they see you and they go. Where are you from? I can't do the accent. Wait, but you have to mention that it was basically a drunk fest. Oh, it was a total drunk fest. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. You've never seen anything like it. It's this thing called the Wild Foods Festival. All right, anyway, fixtures, thank you. Thank you for believing in the live cast. We love you for being here. Yeah. And uh, I don't know when to do this. Um, I went to the dentist today. Wait. Yeah? I just want to point out that... My mother, who's sitting out there on the couch, <laughs> yeah. she did a that's what she said joke on her own comment. <laughs> Go to the Facebook, Lynn. I got it right here. Check it what? out. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Scott Kroonquist wrote, the window blind is closed. Do I win the OCD contest? Kelly, what prize do I get? She goes, oh, that's funny. I think it's because it's really hot outside and Sam was trying to keep cool. Trust me, it will be much harder than that, Scott. Ha, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> okay, was that an intentional setup? Probably. Oh, you're the no, worst. No, I don't think no, it that wasn't. fast. It wasn't. <laughs> Kelly goes, I don't think that fast. No way. Uh, I went to the dentist today. Can I just say? You have good teeth? No. Far from it. They were doing this procedure on me today, and I stopped the guy. The guy goes like this. If it hurts, just put your left hand up. Uh -oh. I, go, ah, ah. I put my left hand up, and he stops, and I take that. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> That's a pretty good impression. Actually. 
I take the thing out of my mouth and I look at him and I go, this is fucking torture, dude. And he goes, I'm so sorry. Your teeth are going to be great when we're done. Back it went. I hated it. I hated it. But speaking of the dentist. So to buy the, to buy the uh, Kachasa today for the Kaiparina, I had to go to Beverages and More. And right beside Beverages and More is a, a, an English um, food store. You had British food stuff like there. Like bangers and mash English. Bangers and mash, absolutely. Steak and kidney pie, shepherd's pie, frozen, made by somebody in England, and all kinds of interesting things. And I'm, I like to go there every so often and buy something. So I saw a thing on the shelf today, and I thought, well, oh, you know what, this would be a great, great thing for who eats this shit. Oh, no. And I thought, no, 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 mm. I would have to eat it. <laughs> and it breaks the other rule, in that the other rule is it's got to be a location with more than 40 uh, retail outlets. Uh, I mean, a store with more than 40 retail outlets. And I thought, maybe that's a little too limiting. Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't do that. No. A little. I'll tell you what. So I've now banned that rules no more. No. Doesn't have to be that. You know what that opens up? Yes. Here's what it opens up. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what it opens up. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh -oh. Nope. That's Sorry. I've got it. Too. I've got it back here. You took it? I took it. Did you drop something? That was me. Sorry. Right. Steve just dropped his phone again. All right. Are we doing this? Steve had an iPhone 4. But what'd you do? You left it on your car and you went speeding someplace? No, I left someplace? it in a taxi in Barcelona. Left it in a taxi in Barcelona. Wait, are you he, serious? He yeah. now has a substandard <laughs> iPhone 3 that he drops in the inch. I hope that... Are you bringing that thing in, dude? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Is this what the guy showed on Facebook? No. <laughs> no, no. Even way better. Are you kidding? Way better? This is from the John I, I'm West. not prepared for this. Max is trying to get me no, out of the seat. Going. No. <laughs> you're not, you're not here. All right. <laughs> this is from the John West Company, produced in Scotland for John West Foods, Limited Liverpool. I'm in the position. It's an innocent enough can. I have assumed the position. Small can. Something that comes in a can that looks like this, you imagine it would be sardines. Am I right? Am I right there, big boy? Sardines. It's not sardines. So tell everybody what it is. It's John West soft herring rose. Do you know what we you know what row is? Eggs. Eggs. Except I'm thinking that from what it looks, oh God! And I'm doing this to myself. Are you serious? Yeah, this is all you. We should take change places or something. No, that's good. That's a good spot. That works. Yeah, 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 yeah Lynn. Yeah. That's actually a really good spot. And throw the headphones. Give Lynn the headphones on. Look uh, shorter than Sam, which is really <laughs> crazy. <for her. laughs> all right, Steve, you want to yeah, get, get those headphones on, Lynn? And let's do it. Yeah, zoom in on that, Steve. There you go. All right, there you go. Okay. Oh, oh, God, the water already. You see this? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ew. Oh. Why have I done this to myself? Oh. This, is not, this is not smart. But the, the real question is, who eats it? Well, apparently they do. And if you look at the picture, they eat that shit on toast. I know, with like... <laughs> Please don't spill on my dude. table. All right. I do not want that shit on my table. Oh, it's just like a completely standard thing. It smells fishy. Ew. Boy. I could do this. I like roast. I, I think. Oh man. Uh, I'm so happy I'm, I'm back yeah, here. I'm, <laughs> I'm puking tonight. And it does go. stink. Oh, don't even. You That's an that. egg. No, it's like an egg sack. That's an egg sack? That's supposed to make it better? Can somebody... I'm actually just dying Ew. back here. <laughs> Did you just smell your hand? Ew. Oh, Holy shit. I don't think I can do it. No. Oh my god. No, I don't think I can do this. Look at Lynn. Maybe, oh. maybe you put it on some crackers. <laughs> That's what the picture shows. Or lemon cake. What did or you do to yourself? <laughs> <coughs> oh my Ew. god. <laughs> I can't do it. I You're doing do it. it. You can't. <laughs> you do this. You know oh, dude. You know what that smells like? I've got now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Do it. I'm gonna throw up so bad. That smells That's terrible. terrible. I can't do it. I can't do it. Absolutely insane. Can you do it? You're doing it. You guys Please. are doing it. I'm Make sorry. Max do it. <coughs> He's oh yeah, so right. Smart. Bullshit! Oh, I'm not my doing goodness. this. Are you seriously yeah. gagging like that? Back <laughs> this, man. I'm like, like what the this. hell? Oh man. 
You guys suck, man. Man up, you suck. guys. God, a bunch of girls. I know. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Ew, Sam, stop it. Oh, <laughs> okay, everybody on Facebook is just going nuts. I love it. You know what? Should we go? Hold on. Go to Facebook really quick. Or I, I guess I'm in control. <laughs> You're killing yourself? Hey, Max, can you turn up uh, Sam's other mic? Uh, yes. <laughs> can I plug my nose? Is that okay? No. No, no are you Either kidding? Girl? Well, Wendy Bell says there's no shame in bowing out. But guess what, Ben? Wendy, there is. <laughs> there's lots of shame. Oh, it smells so awful. <laughs> Uh, Man, she writes I'm just trying up to, wait, you know what I'm Why don't you guys sit down? You know what I'm doing right now? Take I'm trying to think of how to get it in and get it down without chewing or swall without chewing or it's gotta be super dry. That liquor cheers. is cheers. Ew, Stop stinks. being such pussies and do it. <laughs> exactly. Dude, you can't even smell this. Ew, I can smell it. From here. No, it's thank God I'm back here. Are you chew? <laughs> I'm gonna eat it how I normally eat something. Yeah. One. I asked you if you thought they had to be cooked. Oh, whoa, just... <laughs> Ew. Ew, what? Can't do it. Can't do it. You guys do not spit it out again. Oh, my God. He just spit it out again, just like the escargot. Ew. Do you want to see my eyes? I almost puked. Can you see my eyes? I'm looking at you puke. Did you do it? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see what's going on in my eyes here? <laughs> Okay, at some point, Max, we need to bring up Blake's posting <coughs> shown tonight. You didn't do it again. You're all right over there, Lynn? He sees it sitting there. It's sitting in the sink. I couldn't do it, man. I think I'm taking myself out of this contest. <laughs> no, you can't do that and then right. just pull yourself out. Okay, I have a textural thing, obviously. It's not the texture, it's the flavor thing. That's well, what she you know said. What? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like dead fish, but soft. I want to do it so bad for you, Lynn. One more piece. Put it on a cracker, a little mayo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, done. Oh, he's doing it again. He just did it Ew. again. Do it. Oh, he just did it. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Come on. <laughs> you have no idea how bad that is. Oh, my gosh. Lynn, another piece? No. Come on. Okay, I gotta, I gotta kill it because it's gonna you. stink it the whole. So bad in here. Take it outside. Take it outside. It smells so Where bad. We're outside. In here. I need some gum. Throw it over in the neighbor's <laughs> side. Yeah. Where? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I just saw my piece in there. I don't, I don't know where to put it. Mm. Which neighbor do you like least? <sighs> I need a bag. Hold on. <laughs> I don't say anything. <laughs> it's a joke. Just kidding, neighbors. <laughs> Oh, I'm not kidding. It really does. Stick. I apologize for the delay in the show, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, hey, there's only one way to deal with I this. I apologize for my dad being such a pussy. I ate oh. it. I had a piece. I kept that second bit in. <laughs> All right, let's go to Facebook real quick. Everybody's commenting, and I love it. Christy, Christy Clothier says, "Come on, Sam. Third time's the charm." Oh. And I agree with her. Third I, time. Hey, you want more? Hey, mom. Gary Kurtz says that's the best. That's what she said ever, Kelly. I know. I don't know. Here we go. No one, one more heard piece? of it, Gary. My buddy Guy Davis says he would eat it, but then pu projectile <laughs> puke across the table. Do it. <laughs> Just get it down. Get it down. Get it down. Ew. Stop it. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you did see the Blake thing about Sean. Oh, God. It fell on the counter. From no. 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'll find it. It's worthy. <laughs> trust me. Can we, get a, can we zoom in on Sam's eyes? <laughs> we did. Did we? Sam, look into the camera. I want to see what your eyes look like. Bill Rose wants oh, to okay, see if Lucky will eat it. <laughs> You're a little puffy, though. You been crying? God, I've been bowling. <laughs> oh. oh, it smells awful in here. I know. I still have the taste in my mouth. And I'm drinking this taco like no one's business. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> He's drinking the taco like nobody's business. <sighs> Fuck, what do I do with this? Like, it's okay now. You know what I do is I stick it in the freezer. <laughs> I would too, but that's, no, oh. it's in a bag. It's okay. I'm it's okay for now. Okay. Well, that was just stupid. Yes, yeah, so it was. Listen, you know what? Somebody accused us of being high school TV. 
<laughs> what? That's pretty accurate. Tonight it was. <laughs> and we don't even have our high schooler here. Yeah. I know he avoids the show. This is like a disinfectant that I need I, th in the worst way. By the way, this cocktail, go buy yourself a bottle of cachaca. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. And this no, is the only way to drink it. Wait. Don't mix it with anything. Muddle the limes with the sugar. No. Put the cachaca in. Mix, ice, you got a caipirina that's amazing. Steve, say caipirina. Caipirina. There you go. Caipirina. I think you guys actually are a bunch of girls. Okay, hold on. In honor of our foreign correspondent, <laughs> yes. Sean the Mute, we've got a video that Blake made. Apparently, I haven't watched it yet, but it's Sean the Mute's top 10 greatest quotes. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you remember me? <laughs> Don't let oh, look, your life sure. pass you by. <laughs> <laughs> Good song choice, Blake. Wow, and his caption that was is great. he's like a silent Winston Churchill. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I've got some herring row when uh, Blake comes. <laughs> oh, special yes. for him. Oh. We need to do that segment when Blake comes. <laughs> Man, oh, it smells so like a, yeah. just a third world country right now. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Wow, wow, wow. Really? Sorry. That just came out of your mouth? Is that bad? Oh. I think probably. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't <laughs> really know anything. Wow, that was just crazy. I don't even know if I can get this down, dude. It's like, should we get into did, some of our topics eating? tonight? Where did he get food from? He's got uh, something puppies. to make, make me forget about that row. Kelly brought it back to him. Oh, oh Kelly, did you? Earlier. Earlier. Oh. <laughs> You've never seen a guy eat like that kid. Mm. He does like his food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a lot of you to fill up. Do you realize that you actually have not talked about one thing? So far tonight, and it's six twenty-eight. Oh boy! Oh, That's true. It's true. Not one thing. Hey, listen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I listen. Wait, no, I listened to Adam Carolla go on for forty-five <laughs> minutes or an hour, like yep. about how somebody pissed him off at a supermarket. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to this Haley picture. We've covered a lot of stuff. We have. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this Haley picture. Then we're gonna go to eat, drink, man, woman, and then we're gonna go in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Good. I like. I like that. All right. First, let's check out this Haley picture. This amazing picture that Lynn took. <laughs> this was last Aww. night. So cute. Oh, that's last great night uh, in the aftercast when we leave the cameras up. Kelly's been dying for a show to start with Haley sitting here, and while I was cooking, uh, BBTF. BBFT for the boys. Banana bread French toast for anybody who doesn't know. That was dank. Mm. Uh, they situated sweet dog little girl Haley in the chair and were taking pictures of her. And <laughs> she owned it, didn't she? She oh, loved yeah. it though, yeah. She just freaking owned that moment. Look at her. She is one sweet dog. We have to have some dog thing one day here. Oh, yeah. Hey, what about a live cast where people bring their animals? I don't know about that. I don't mean here. <laughs> okay. You know, like someplace <laughs> out. Like a giant park or some like, shit. Like, like one zoo? of those bark, uh, happy, yappy hour things? Yappy. Did you hear that? That's yappy, yappy hour. hour. Yappy hour. Oh. I've never been to one. I'm really oddly colored. It's this. I cannot use this thing yeah, again. Don't, don't look at I that. I will cut, check myself into a hospital at the end of this live cast. Yeah, you do really look red in that monitor. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I wanted to start a thing on... Great food scenes from movies. And we're going to start with one of my favorites. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Such a good idea. Have you guys seen Eat, Drink, Man, Woman? I've heard of it. Chinese. Lynn? Uh, I heard of it, actually. After shame on me. you. You know, I, it is shame, shame on, on you. It's, so it's an Ang Lee film. It is. Shame on me. Right. And it's a food film. Ang Lee, Chinese, and it's a food film. I'm sorry. It's a great I one. Mean and you're a huge foodie. <laughs> you're the biggest foodie I know. Really? And I don't just mean in height. It had nothing to do with the fact that it's Chinese and he's Chinese? No, it's just a great food movie. Oh, got it. <laughs> so it's a story of a, uh, a widower <laughs> that lives with his three daughters. And the opening scene, well, so we've got about 40 seconds or something of it now. With the music, it's just a great opening scene for a food movie. And if you appreciate Chinese food the way I do, then you'll like this. Here we go. From Eat, Drink, Man, Woman.
Whoa. I love the sound. Yeah. This is just like in Hong Kong. Check, yeah. That's cool. Check this move. Keep watching. This is cool. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, oh, nice, bro. That looks like pork fat to me. Mm -hmm. That looks appetizing. It does. Watch this. This is really cool. That might be lotus or something. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> yes. Pork. Oh, so good. Giant steamer. Yeah. Wow. Eat, wow. Drink, eat, drink, man, woman. That is an opening scene. That's an opening scene, right? And when you've got, you know, like stereo and bigger screen and the whole thing going on for you, it's a great movie. You should get it. Reminds me of your 50th birthday. Oh, Kelly said, yeah, it reminds me of my 50th birthday. We had a party here. Um, I had a, a sushi, a sushi uh, chef, two sushi, sushi chefs right here <laughs> on this counter behind me. And they brought their whole like refrigerated box that sits on top, this big ass long thing. And they were making rolls and uh, hand rolls and, and nigiri and all kinds of stuff right there. And my favorite Chinese restaurant in San Diego, Emerald, they brought a chef and a server, waiter, manager guy. And I thought they could just cook on my stove. And I've got a big ass decor stove that puts out a lot of power. So they walk in and I say, you guys can just cook here. And in a very polite way, they chose not to laugh at me, <laughs> but they said, I just don't have enough there. They had their own huge portable wok thing with a giant tank of propane outside that was huge that put out flames like this. And the guy stood in my front yard and he made five or six dishes and he would bring them in. Oh, it was so fun. Awesome. It was a good party. It was lots of fun. And a bartender and a DJ thing and whatever. It was good. That's when I was 50. Now I'm older than that. So <laughs> the shit should get better every year, shouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Good thing. <sighs> the guy cutting that fish reminded me of uh, when we were in Hong Kong. Yep. We caught a fish on the dock. The yep. guy cut it, chopped it up on, on the dock, and then he handed my dad a couple of fish fillets, and my dad diced it up, threw it in a wok, and cooked it on the dock. It was amazing. Yeah, in this little fishing village. We could play that. Dock. We could play that segment one day. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, we were going to play something of yours, huh? Steven? Uh, cue the crickets. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you, were, you, you, were, you were bringing something. I was. We'll I save it for it, Monday. Yeah, save it. Hey, off top, content. just we'll off a little, for Monday. a little off topic for a second. Oh, off topic, huh? That's Did you get all those three things edited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got two of them. <laughs> two. I'll finish the other one tonight. Two of a 30 and a 60 each? Sure. <laughs> Such a sack of shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, I got two things to cook. Not one, but two, because that's how we do it here. Yeah, we got a good long cooking segment, and good, good. we've got the capabilities to talk from back here in this room yes. all the way out to the kitchen. So if you guys have cooking questions while Sam is cooking, just give them to me, and I will relay that shit, all right? I'm talking about Let's it. go. Ready? Let's go cook. I, I was just cleaning some ice that fell. I wasn't <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Though I will soon. Um, here's what we're making. I gotta remember. We're doing two things with spinach, fresh spinach. I've fallen in love with spinach lately and I wanna make stuff with it and so I'm gonna make two of my things that, two of my favorite things that I like to make. So here's what we're gonna do. 
The first thing I'm gonna make is a pizza. I'm gonna get it in the oven so it can start cooking. Just turn this up a little bit. All right, here's what this is. This is a, a white spinach, white, white spinach. I'm not using a sauce. I'm using only cheeses, spinach, and garlic. And I think you're gonna like this. Mm. So I'm just gonna take some garlic right here and chop this up a little bit. Get this stupid paper off this thing. I say it all the time, they can put a man on the moon, but they can't grow garlic without that nonsense on it. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to. Yes, our garden comes tomorrow. Yeah. Vertical earth garden tomorrow. Touches down right here. I'm so excited. Yeah, then we'll have some fresh stuff. We'll have fresh everything. Okay, so here's what you want. You want just garlic chopped up a little bit, right? Don't make a big deal out of this. So you're not using your garlic press this time? No, because I didn't want it like minced up like that. I just wanted like little chunky pieces of it. Oh, okay. Because your garlic press also does away with all that paper, right? Yeah, it does. But sometimes I, sometimes I don't want it mashed. Sometimes I want it like this. I got issues with my, one of my packs back here. <laughs> Which pack? Do you so need check me, out what this is going to do. Do you need me do. to come out? Sorry? Do you need me to come out and fix it? No, it's just come going in and out. Okay, here's a question that I have about the food. Yeah. Um, you got that little thing in the fridge, yeah. that, or in the fr sorry, in the freezer that has uh, the like the ice cube tray of garlic. Yes. When is it better to use that as opposed to, I mean, what you're doing right now, That's as good opposed question. to a garlic press? It's a good question. Here's the thing. Um, I probably could have used that, but I forgot about it. So that's where we are right this second. I'll be Thanks, honest. Max. <laughs> right? Garlic. Uh, we, I think we did this once. Garlic yeah. and cilantro. And you can see, I've been using the hell out of those. Yeah, that's so really cool. So I could cool. have taken one of those and thrown them in and it would have been fine. All right, but check this out. I didn't do that. And now this is starting to get super hot. So I'm going to take a little bit of oil, throw it in the pan. How's this plan? Oh, there we go. Is that good? You want to get it closer? There you go. That's okay. I can move it closer, should I? Let's not melt it. That's good, right? With the smoke, the oil, I'm gonna throw the garlic in, and the garlic will burn very quickly. So I'm gonna now throw spinach on top of it. And I want a big handful of the spinach because it's gonna wilt down to almost nothing. And just turn this. Beautiful, like this, watch, and you're gonna see in about one minute, this is gonna be so wilted down, it's gonna be exactly where I want it for the pizza. That's the beautiful thing about spinach. You think you can't use it, you think you gotta buy that frozen stuff, don't buy the frozen stuff if you can help it. This is the way to go. It's fresh, here's where the nutrients are, this is what's going on. There we are. Almost done. Okay, in the interim, I'm gonna take my crust. And I'm using a, I'm using a bovoli, and I like the thin crust, and I like the whole wheat. It's just the way I like to go. Little oil on the crust. And then, the first of our three cheeses. Damn it, oh, it's right here. The first of our three cheeses. Is feta. So crumbled feta goes on top of the, the crust. The only thing that's down here right now is some olive oil. That's it. So I just try and crumble this up. I'm trying to go fast. I want you really to see that this is something that you could whip out in no time. That's what she said. <laughs> Kelly, how did Kelly miss that? She's not paying attention. She's not paying attention. Oh, now she's right. conversing she's with people Facebook. online. Get out of your Facebook, dude. <laughs> okay, right? We've got feta. You're not covering the thing. You're just making sure that if somebody cuts a wedge out of this, there's a chance they're getting enough feta in it. So that's beautiful, right? On top of the feta goes the spinach. 
Now I'm talking, right? Mm. And now you do the same thing. You just spread out the spinach so that when people cut into it, there's even bites. Wow. Sort of around, right? Gorgeous. So here's the green. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. I, <laughs> I got like a Facebook it. question. Yeah, Facebook, go ahead. Okay, Scott Kroonquist, friend of the show, wants to know, how do I know the oil isn't burnt when all that smoke is present? I'm always afraid uh, to get the oil too hot. I just question. replied. What did Kelly say? He actually asked me, Max. Uh -huh. Oh, Kelly? okay. What, okay, what did Kelly say? I said you can smell burning oil. Which is true. Oh, stop, uh -oh. Sam. I saw that face. I didn't know there's no face. You went, There's no face. That's exactly right. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Next step. Two more things. Oh, it looks so good. I'm trying to do this quick for you, <laughs> live casters, because I know that you want, you want, for, you want this. Okay, provolone, pizza crust, olive oil, feta cheese. Spinach, now provolone. What? Or as Addie Corn would say, prova frickin' long. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, I do not know that that's how she, well, I do know how she talks, sort of. <laughs> oh, man. Uh huh. So, feta and provolone, is that something good to mix? Is it something good to I mix? I mean, can people substitute cheeses or? Why do they have to change my shit? No, I'm just. Why can't I'm they just make it like this? Hey, <laughs> we're at, at Sam the Cooking Guy. We're all about easily being able to substitute things, and I don't want them substituting. I want them to make it like this the first time, and now mozzarella. Oh, jeez. Nobody complained. Oh, that's right, crazy. Fine. You know what, everybody? If you don't have every single ingredient, then you can't make it. And Thank don't you. watch. And don't, don't watch. watch. Yeah. Just don't watch. Turn away. <laughs> Avert your eyes. Does anybody know if Blake is Canadian? Because he's got a Canadian flag on his shirt. Ah. Uh, I don't I think, think that's him. I think, I think that's his friend. No, no, you're both wrong, and that's not a Canadian flag on his shirt, I don't think. It says Arctic Monkeys, and there's a Canadian flag in there, and that is Blake. The Arctic Monkeys are Canadian, I think. Okay, ready? I'm going right onto the grate, right in here. And we go. Beautiful. Straight on, no. no uh, Straight on, nothing underneath it. I want it crispy underneath. Wow. Nice. <sighs> wow. He knows what he wants. Arctic How long Monkeys are Brits. That took barely more than five minutes, yeah. right? Yep. So here, that's a big, like, stick it in your ear to all the people that say, I come home from work and I'm tired and I don't have time to make anything. <laughs> I went from nothing to that in about six minutes. And now, what, it's going to take me 12 minutes to cook? Now you make, a, you make a caipirina. You say hi to the kids, you pat them on the head, you check some homework. <laughs> You rub, you, you rub your husband's feet and his shoulders. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's the best pizza. You should smell it in here right now, and it's one of my favorites. Good girl, Kel. Okay, now, uh, now we'll check this out. Now, not only am I... Not only am I getting that done, but I'm going to clean up. In the same amount of time, I'm going to make one of my other favorite things. I love this. I'm an egg guy. I'm a huge egg guy. I love eggs. I could eat eggs all day long if, they, if the cholesterol part of it wasn't bad for you. But it is. So what are you going to do? So freaking sue me, right? It's going to happen. Uh, by the way, uh, I got no by the way. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was going to say there. Wow. Lucky's hovering. I know. I can see him over here. Okay. All right, now, the next thing I'm going to make is maybe, you know, the quickest thing when it comes to food, because it's eggs, because eggs cook so quickly. So you already know I'm going to use um, spinach. Clean I'm going to use spinach. And yeah. eggs. And now I'm all clean. We're good, right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> perfect. Here's what we're doing. Uh, we're making a, in my new pan, where it is. I guess it's technically not new anymore, but I still like it, like it's new. We're making a spinach and goat cheese omelet. Oh. You know what? Mm. Get out of the usual mm. cheese thing. Try something a little different. Mm -hmm. Break out. Break out a little bit. So here's what we have to do. We've got to beat a couple eggs. I'll make it a three air. Because I know everybody's going to want a bite of this. Oh yeah, everybody's gonna want a bite of it. Look at that, one-handed. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Why is Kelly's laughing to herself over there? You're such a show <laughs> So you don't need a lot for this. We beat eggs uh, last night, right? What would you make last night? Oh, the French toast. That was last night? Yes, it was last night. Okay, here's what we had. Wait, are you sure that doesn't need another few minutes of beating? It will. We have some salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she uh, said. No, that, see, that was too obvious, Max. I don't even have to do that. <laughs> black pepper. Why's it got to be black? <laughs> 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 Dude, that was great. That was great. <laughs> All right, so the pan is warm a little bit, a little oil in, and then more spinach. Come on, man. And spinach. There you go. You go ahead, eat that lucky. It's okay, you can eat it. Where is he? <laughs> Did you say she? I said he. he. He walked right past it. He doesn't want it. These are in the wrong spot. I hate it when people put my stuff in the wrong spot. Okay. So same drill as before, right? All we're doing is wilting the spinach down to the point where show it's it ready. GoPro. Yeah, show it to the GoPro. Well, isn't the GoPro right here? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that looks better than that. Oh, I see. Like this, right? So this is almost there. I hate losing one. <laughs> We're not going crazy. You don't need too much of it. I need goat cheese. That's what I need. And for goat cheese, I like to buy this crumbled goat cheese. I think it's convenient. It's easy. And you can throw it in stuff like this. Uh, and it blends in super quick, right? I could put this on a pizza if I wanted. Goat cheese uh, in a salad is an amazing thing. We make a roasted tomato goat cheese salad. You take the little cherry tomatoes and you cut them in half. We should do that sometime. We'll do that. Oh, that's I don't want to give it away. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'll tell you. Little cherry tomatoes, cut them in half, toss them in olive oil, little kosher salt, pepper, uh, and some crushed garlic on a baking sheet. And then in the oven. Uh-oh, look what I did. I didn't have all my attention to this, and now it's stuck a bit. <laughs> question. F my life. Yes. Got a question. Yes. Becky Winters. Yes. She wants to know if you have to use a special spatula because hers melts every time she uses them. Yeah, like this that. is a, it's a good question, Becky. This is a high heat spatula, and it goes to probably 500 degrees. It doesn't actually say, but it'll go to like 500 degrees. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're buying a spatula, get rid of the, get rid of, don't buy a shitty one. Buy one that will go high heat, okay? All right, so now I like to go, I put the um, spinach in the oil, but now for the egg part, I'm gonna introduce a little butter, because mm. that's what I do. Because we're talking eggs, right? And now we mix this around. This is hot. Let me pour in this. And do we want like a true omelet, you guys, or do you want a, uh, let's go true omelet, shall true we? Omelet, what are the yeah. options? Well, the options are, if I haven't effed this up. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, yep. No, I like that. Okay, so we'll try and do this. So when you make a true omelet, you're trying to cook the bottom as evenly as you can, right? And so what that means is you pull the egg away from the side, the cooked egg away from the side, and let the uncooked egg run in. You see how that's happening? Here, pull away, let it run in. And what you're trying to get to is just one nice, even, flat, beautifully cooked, egg-like pancake sort of thing, right? Mm. There we go. Not too much heat, we're fine here. Let it run in, beautiful. Pull it away, let it run in. This is my. This is how I make an omelet. I don't know that I've ever learned the absolute correct way. I watched Julia Child. We watched that when on her birthday. Remember? Yeah. We watched that clip. This is not what she freaking did, man. No, she did. She did some so. crazy ass thing. All she did was shake the pan. Oh, that's right. But she's Julia Child. She is the master, mm -hmm. or the mistress, or whatever. 
Okay, we're almost there. I've got to add some of this goat cheese. How do you know when to add the goat cheese? Well, I want most of the egg cooked. I don't want it too runny inside. And I'm only going to put it on one side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this guy over. And would you say goat second. cheese is a little more sensitive than other cheeses as far as melting? No, I'm doing. Uh, no, I would add any cheese at this Around point. Time, right. Yeah. If I was doing scrambled eggs, then yeah, I would probably. It wouldn't really matter when you added it. Yeah. But for for something like this, and you know what, I really like goat cheese for this because it's got that little like little tang to it. Mm-hmm. That just is a really nice, lovely change inside, rather than using you know the same stuff all the time, cheddar that kind of thing. I, I mean, I mean, I'm an American cheese, American slices, craft American slices kind of guy for all kinds of things. But for something like this, here's where I like to go. All right, so now I'm going to turn the bottom. Hey Sam, I have a question. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to flip now. So your whole goal is just to do this, right? Mm. That's stuck a little bit. F you, come on, man. <laughs> Make me look bad in front of all these people. Okay, so I'm gonna cook it there for about a minute, flip it to the other side, and then I'm gonna plate it, and we'll be good. Do you have a question? Yeah, you have your heat on low, medium low the whole time? Here? Or? No, I mean, I don't know technically what to call this. If that's high and that's low, I probably got it around medium. It's just kind of like however you feel. Yeah, well, it's eggs, so eggs are a little sensitive. If I was gonna cook a bunch of mushrooms in the pan first, I'd probably have the heat on high cook the mushrooms, get them to where I want, and then I would turn down the heat, and then I would do the egg part. Eggs, you know, you gotta balance the outside to the inside. Too much heat, you're gonna cook the outside of them and burn them and not have them be nice before the inside gets cooked. So, right? You know what people are asking for? Uh, to eat this? <laughs> An egg cast. An egg cast? What does that even mean? Remember Go we hold. did the shrimp cast? Oh, whole day, just eggs? Yeah. Hell yeah, oh, let's dude. do it. You can kidding? With eggs. We're we so we doing that. We could fucking do it. I could do egg, right, Steve's right. We could do a whole bitchy egg ass week. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't do an egg ass because I don't know what that means. <laughs> but we could do egg week. We, they have fucking shark week. <laughs> we could do egg week. And it could be a combination of eggs. I it could be that, that kind of it. eggs. It could be this kind of eggs. I can hear that at the water cooler. Hard boiled eggs. Uh, Man, you catch egg, egg week? <laughs> hey, don't be showing people my hard boiled eggs. Dude, the cooking egg, yeah, you. <laughs> my last one egg, the other day. Egg beef. Uh, <laughs> egg beef. Okay. Whoa, fancy. So we're good. How's the pizza? Don't burn it. Pizza's fine, don't worry about my pizza. <laughs> so this my on pizza. the pan. Nice. Kelly's got me all freaked out down well, here. It's fine. It's fine. It. You want to eat it? Yeah. So here's what we need. We need a little bit of this. <laughs> what is that? It's a little fresh ground pepper lint. <laughs> <laughs> and this, Lynn, do you know what this is about to be? Uh, dinner? A bite. Look what's going on in here, Steve. Can you see that? Yeah, you know You know what? They do make cracked oh. white pepper. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, look at that melty cheese. <laughs> Kelly. Well, they do. <laughs> and that's you. I'm a white pepper? <laughs> <laughs> a cracked white pepper. Uh. <laughs> Your mom's a cracked white pepper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she just made a joke on her own. Why? That's the second and time tonight. cracking up. And she laughs. Okay, that's my wife's specialty. I said if she was a comedian, she wouldn't need anybody in the audience. She'd just need a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That. How good is that? And oh, it's good. the tang of the goat cheese. I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Max. <laughs> Here, you gotta, you gotta pick everybody up. Mm. No, pizza. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the fakest. <laughs> I don't like eggs. How about I Steve? <laughs> Hook a brother up. I didn't mean to use the term brother. How like. about the people in the back, huh? Uh-oh, Blake, I hope you got that screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? Mm. Do you want more forks, Max? Or are you, Lynn, are you just going to feed Lynn off of yours? No, no, I'm busy back here. I got stuff to do. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I'm being a... Mm. <laughs> wow. Pizza's Ooh, about, pizza's yeah, about two minutes away. Mm. Oh. Holy shit. 
Okay, so don't good. finish it. Steve needs more. Mm -hmm. mm. And I need another bite. <laughs> Max isn't going anywhere, those eggs, man. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. What else do we need to talk about before this pizza comes out? What are we doing next week? We're oh, not going to well, be here Monday night. Monday, yeah. So no Labor Monday. Day. Should we do do we play a rerun? Yeah, a rerun. Yeah. Let's rerun our first show. No. 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 Let's no. not no. rerun our first show. <laughs> mm -mm. Do people know they can't even find our first show? What's this move? <laughs> we don't even <laughs> have the we don't we don't even have the first show up for people to find anymore. That's a good thing. Hey, we come a long way. Wow. Steve, take yourself a bite. Can you do it? Yeah. If anybody cares, I'll be away next week. Oh, Kelly goes away. Yeah, Kelly won't be here for uh, our cast. <laughs> oh, Kelly. People were commenting on the Continental last night. And we're doing it again. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> uh, where'd Sam go? Kitchen? <laughs> uh, I'm looking for my, uh, my peel. My pizza peel. Oh, here it is. <laughs> what just I got happened? It. <laughs> I got it. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whether you make a proper omelet out of this or just scrambled eggs, buy yourself some crumbled goat cheese. That's a great thing. Count to 30 and then I'll yank this pizza. Not out loud or anything. But. <laughs> so not here Monday. Enjoy your Labor Day. What are you going to make? There's a lot of recipes on the website. You're going to grill something? Hell yeah, we'd love to hear. Mm -hmm. I Send would grill. Pictures. Send pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah do that. Send your pictures. Labor Send day. your pictures of your Labor Day food. That would be fun to see. And we'll give away something. Yes, we will. I don't know what, but we'll give something away. I want okay. that. I can't do this Omelet. any longer. I'm going to pull this, <laughs> pull this dumb pizza out. It's time. Oh, God. That is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note. I said I'm going to pull this dumb pizza out, and you no. said that's what she said? No. <laughs> okay, we're getting off track. Kelly. It's enough, <laughs> Kelly. You're screwing everybody here, Kel. Uh, oh, look at that pizza. Where's my big knife? Look at that. Look at that knife. You know yeah. what you should do? That's like from that You uh, should movie. look. Here, and listen, right? Here's what you like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can hear it. That sounds good. Yeah. And you know why it's like that? Because I put it directly on the racks. If I'd put it on a baking sheet, it wouldn't be like this. Oh, oh really? Oh, I thought maybe you left the cardboard Did you see this? On. She can't even wait. She can't. She's right? so hungry. <laughs> creeping. She's creeping like Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I got me. Don't worry about it. I got my shit down. No, can you have a plate? Do you know how hot this is? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There you go. Take your pizza. Away you go. Goodbye, little girl. Look at that melty cheese. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for getting in the way of the money shot. <laughs> Yoink. All right, so this is what it's all about. The crust, and I say if you're gonna buy a, a store-bought crust, like a Bobley, buy the whole wheat. Better for you, but more importantly, it's better tasting. And it doesn't taste healthy, it just tastes good. And it's healthy too. So we've got the olive oil on the bottom, we've got the crumbled feta, the spinach that we cooked with the garlic, and then the layer of provolone, and then the layer of mozzarella on top. And see the way it holds itself up? That's because it was cooked on that shelf right in there uh, and got crispy. And now mm. the bite. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> You're right there. Um. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, will be. Wow. <laughs> that is one damn fine pizza. And you know what? There's no sauce. No red sauce, no white sauce, no nothing. Just this. Pure, basic. Really delicious, and I want you to make this. It's a big good thing to make uh, over the Labor Day weekend. I mean, it doesn't feel very outside to me, but you might, you might like it. So, that's it. It's been a good live cast week. This is show number, nobody knows, 40, 44. 44. 
want to thank our sponsors, Donovan's Steak and Chop House, Donovan's Prime Seafood in downtown San Diego, and don't forget Donovan's in Phoenix. We're dying to figure out how to get there, and our brand new sponsor, Fixtures Living, fixtureslivingcom Fixtures Friday tomorrow, I'll be there about 12.30 to 1.30, come say hi, have some, have some of uh, Honest Caven's uh, uh, BLTs made different ways, see the cool store, and uh, that's it. From all of us at Livecast, another good week. Thanks a lot. We got to eat pizza now. See ya.